Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 10 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Mamluks. I've just noticed I've got my 4 active down here in Alexandria. That's costing me an extra half ducat a month that we could do with uh, not having to pay out. Um, just looking around the map, working out what we need to do next. Are you guys actually my vassal? You are. We're going to need to vassalize you at some point. Uh, let's go ahead and... Who do I want to bring back? Uh, we're trying to get you on Lithuania. Yeah, I think I want to wait for all of those to, to do first, actually. We've already got you as a vassal, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, if we can grab these guys quite quickly, I mean, they would accept an alliance. Um, they would accept a royal marriage. Vassalization. Mm, they probably wouldn't accept it because of the economic base. So if we wanted to take them, we'd probably have to do it by war. But we'll keep our eye on it and see how that goes. Um, we can take this here, which would give us land leader maneuver plus one. Um, we've also got this extra trade now, which we should think would be helping us, but it doesn't appear to be. Let's, we'll deal with that in a second. Um, we need the next tech, so we're going to wait on that one. Right, you guys are going to go up there. I appreciate that it's a 20 stack, but I'm confident in your ability to give the particularists a good kicking. Of course, this is not helping with the money situation because we're having to do all of these reinforcements. Right, okay, so how much money are we losing? Ten ducats a month. Ten ducats is a lot. We've still got um, rebellions that are liable to pop all over the place right now. Um, we're going to turn Kairos 4 off as well. We're going to do everything we can just to try and sort of sort our money situation out. Because we've got a bit of corruption. That should go down. It's only 0 0.01. Are we still overextended? How long is that going to be for? Not too long. It's almost done. War exhaustion's going down. We'll boost stability again. Every, every positive boost to stabi stability is going to help with that one. So let's keep working on that. Do I want to leave these forts on? I mean, even if I turn them both off, we're still going to be losing money, so it's not going to make a huge deal of difference. Recall our diplomat from Austria, and you are going to go and improve relations down here as soon as you get back. We'll start, start trying to join our land together. So let's go and start improving down there. So improving our relations with you is probably a waste of time. If you're not actually going to accept the vassalization... I never, um, military power, negative 37. I've never understood this economic base compared to. Does that mean my economic base is too high or their economic base is too high? What, what, what's the deal there? Great Horde's being sieged out by somebody. See, the Great Horde would take an alliance, but they're not really, they don't really hate any of my enemies. Lithuania... Let's get you guys down here. Lithuania wouldn't be interested in an alliance. Now, why is that? Um, because you're allied to our rival. Even without that, you've got a neutral attitude. Our diplo rep is low. Different religious group. Yeah, so Lithuania, never going to like me. So that's a potential problem. We've got zero money, so there goes another loan. We're only losing four ducats a month, and it seems to be dropping, so... It seems like we might actually be starting to get out of the hole. Once we get rid of all of the corruption, once we actually manage to recover our manpower... Right, who, where's this one going to fire? Um, Hamasien. I have no idea where half of these provinces are, and I know I'm completely butchering the pronunciations of them, but, you know. Uh, not Hamadan, Ham Hamasien. All the way down there, really? Wow. Um... Let's get you guys on the on the quick march then. Left that one a little bit late before I noticed it. And this one... Mali, Malatya. Uh, Malatya. You are... Well, we've got an army close by to that. So we're losing a fair bit of manpower. It's literally just dealing with all of these rebels at the moment. We will extend the loan. 
We could probably go ahead and get another couple of tax buildings. We might as well. Spend some money now to make some money later. Well, I usually like to have these things done. Uh, we'll recall the diplomat from Lithuania because you're fairly useless. I would like to have my armies drilling, but given the fact we've got so many um, rebellions about to pop, it's not really worthwhile me doing it. As soon as we can get rid of some of these rebel factions, we might have to have a bit of a break from declaring a lot of these stupid wars. But at least I've done what I wanted to do, which was to sort of block the Ottomans off in this direction. So if they want to start uh, start trying to get into Europe, then they can do. Yeah, bring you back from Caraman. Um, we have uh, not the province I was expecting, but fine. Losing 1.85 ducats a month. I mean, that's almost a manageable. And if we can actually afford to, and we probably will be able to soon, boost our stability again. Need 159. So next month we can boost our stability again. War exhaustion's going down. Inflation's still going up a little bit, but that's fine. But yeah, if we can just boost our stability up, I think we can solve a lot of these problems. So let's go ahead and boost stability again. Right, we're now making positive money. Not a huge amount. But we are making positive money. And that's positive money... Well, not technically reinforcing because we don't have any manpower left. So, where did we decide that other province was? Uh, nope. Mal Malat Malatia. That one, right. Yeah, okay. You've got guys standing there. But let's just put you straight in the province. That's mainly because there's a religious conversion going on. Speaking of religious conversion, are they actually making any progress? Yes, just. Yes, just. And no, not at all. So you might as well cancel. I'm just making matters worse. Um, Movers 50 towards mysticism, but impact corruption by minus two. Well, we don't need to do that. So let's just wait on. We can take the next Diplo idea. It gives us a plus one diplomatic relation. Um, it's not a bad idea. Now we are behind on the tech. Although moving us up towards manpower recovery speed and discipline might be nice. Especially if the Ottomans do decide to attack. Um, Merchant Guild loses some loyalty. Or we can lose mercantilism. Well we don't want to lose mercantilism. Um, I definitely want to keep ahead with my military tech, so I'm not going to take the uh, the idea for the for the military there. So we're making 1.14 ducats per month. It's hardly anything. I might even try and boost the um, stability up once more. Get all of these guys drilling. Have we got everything? Yeah, all the overextension's gone now. These rebel factions are starting to go away, though, which is a good thing. And we've got these separatists. Uh, Trebizond. Surely, surely you should be finished now, and you're up there as well. So if we leave that army, you can stay up there doing your thing. You guys can drill. And this army, you can, I don't know, come over there and then drill. I'll try and make sure we keep our army professionalism as high as possible. So we might go ahead and start integrating those guys as quickly as we can. And we've, we've renewed a loan. Again, not really a surprise. Uh, let's have a look at our move towards legalism. Nice. Right, you guys start drilling. Then I wanted to look at something... And it's completely gone out of my head. There we go. Number of diplomatic relations, four or five. So we can have one more. We're about to vassalize you... So, who else here could we vassalize? Could we vassalize you? Possibly. You've got a neutral attitude towards me. That's probably not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, what about you guys? You don't like me. You do like me. And you would accept vassalization. Let's um, offer an alliance. Uh, we will royal marriage. Unless they send the offer through first, which they might do.
Come on, anytime you like. Royal marriage. That gets us up to 99. Need to be at 190. So we want to improve relations next. So as soon as the 10th of June comes, we'll go ahead and send this guy. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. You go and start improving relations. And um, you're up to 175. So we'll be able to start dealing with you soon. Uh, so the... Tr uh, Trebizondian, you're at 60%, but you don't seem to be going down for some strange reason. I mean, we could go and put somebody in the province, I guess. Maybe. You guys are getting converted, which is why you're going so slow. An offer to sell province. Oh, this is interesting. An offer to sell province from Ak Kionulu. Um, which are these guys. Is offering to sell you the province of Iraq for 50 ducats. This one here. What's wrong with it? It's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. We don't really have a lot of money, but sure, I'll take a free province. Well, it's not a free province, but it's a province I didn't have to go to war with. Any province, any province you don't have to go to war for is a good province. So let's go ahead and take that. They're getting very, very small now. So we can sort of expand out to the to the east. I fully intend to have the whole of um, the Middle East, the whole of Saudi Arabia, before this is um, and the, the sort of Am A Arab Emirates and whatever else is down here before uh, before the end of this campaign. I said I would like to grab this, but we could get an alliance with them. But if they're not going to take vassalization, it's pretty pointless. We could just straight up declare war on them. I mean, they are allied with the Great Horde. But they'd be pretty easy to beat in a war. I'm actually making a decent bit of money now. Is it worth getting... Is it worth getting a guy? Manpower modifier. I think we're going to leave it for the time being. We might end up falling behind in tech slightly. But I'd like to... Um, not have the monetary issues. So we're up to 187 opinion on Medina. We'll be able to start integrating them very soon. Are we still over our force limit? We are not. We're bang on it now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 191. So let's go and annex Vassal. And we can bring back the Diplomat because we don't need to improve relations with you anymore. And what about you guys down here? You don't like me either. Because uh, we are a neighbouring heretic religion. Well, I guess that would cause a problem. Um, and is it the same deal with you as well? No, you desire my provinces. Um, you're all one place. I guess you... I mean, you hate me anyway. So you'd never accept vassalization. Yeah, look at that. Wow, negative 4,000 and something. Negative 2,000 trust. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll leave those guys alone. Uh, what about this little guy down here? You'd accept vassalization. I mean, you're tiny, but we could take you. Sure, let's go and... But you wouldn't accept an alliance, which is unusual. Because um, of your opinion... Not the same religion. Well, let's go ahead and improve relations and, and just see what would happen. We've got the free diplomats, so we might as well have them doing something. Um, right, rebel factions. We've still got the sheer zealots. There's, there's a few actually here that might pop now. Uh, invest in a technology. Yep, excellent. Now we can have cannons, finally. Uh, a lima gains loyalty, but we gain corruption. Reduces the national tax modifier, or the Alima loses loyalty, we lose corruption, and minus one tolerance of the true faith for ten years. We'll go for that one. Right, let's take that. Now we can have cannons. Great. Also, can we afford to do that and go up to plus three? Excellent. We might actually be able to get some of these loans paid off eventually. Not going to work on any more of these conversions. The ones that are going to take forever are just likely to cause more rebellions, so there's really no point in doing them right now. So, yeah. Everybody's still drilling? Good. 
Um, we do need to get like three more manpower, uh, three more force limits somewhere so that we can have a cannon on each stack. Um, I mean, I could, you could always get rid of like one infantry just so we don't go over, but we'll be able to get that up sooner or later anyway. And it's just, it's just good for forts, basically. Just having that extra, that plus one bonus against forts. It makes a huge deal of difference. I request to share your maps of the Pontic Step from Austria. Um, sure, free prestige. I will share my maps with Austria. If you're going to stay friendly with me, Austria, I will stay friendly with you. Um, how are things going on with them? We have 50 favours and 47 trust. Which is good. What have we got down here then? Lose 10 prestige. Um, national man power modifier goes up. Prestige goes down. Lose 35 military power to gain some prestige. Lose 35 diplo to gain some trade efficiency. Um, 35 diplo to get some trade efficiency is probably not a bad thing. Especially when we're trying to, uh, trying to recover some cash. How many loans do we have at the moment? Oh, that's nasty. Seven loans. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get them paid off. Because the thing is, while you're paying loans, you have interest. Uh, you see, the interest is 6.25 ducats per month. So if we didn't have the loans, we'd be actually gaining 10 ducats a month instead of four. I mean, our army maintenance is definitely the majority of what we're paying, and it will go down. We are also paying some missionary maintenance, which will go away soon as well. Looks like a lot of our rebel factions are dropping, which is a good thing. We do have that mission to take a province down here, don't we? Unless it's expired. No, it's this one down here. Now, who are you allied with? Nobody. Oh, you're guaranteed by Ethiopia. Ethiopia is allied with Waliata, which we don't really care about. Because they're all the way down there and they're small. Um... Do you guys like me? No, you hate me. So, we could go ahead and do that. Ethiopia, how many troops do you have? Uh, we don't have any war enemies. Um, let's go into armies. Uh, have we just got, like, neighbours? Uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia has 18,000 men. Because they're really the only people I'd be bothered about. Um... Ethiopia. Can't even see them. I'm going to guess that I'm probably a fair bit above them in terms of my ability. Um, it would be risky trying to take something with only a single um, army down here. What's our army tradition? Army tradition must be good given the fact that we keep going to war. Um, army tradition is 52.4. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, move towards legalism. Uh, Alima gains loyalty. Um, tolerance of the truth faith goes up. Sure, let's keep moving towards that tax modifier. Bonus. We're probably maxed out actually now when it comes to... Yeah, 100 now. So that's fine. Um, yeah, again, we're not going to change any of those things. So what we could do is we could bring this army down and we could go and attempt to take that province. We could take more than that province, of course. So let's bring this army down first. We've got to keep expanding. There's no point just sitting around and doing nothing. So we will keep expanding. There is a um, loan removed. That is fine. Merchant Guild gaining some influence. That is also fine. I would like to get some advisors in these slots. Morale of Navies is pretty useless. Land Force Limit f Modifier could be good. Of course, at the moment, I'm... Yeah, I really do want a plus one military guy. We, we, need, to, we need to... We've got a military idea group, so... We need to start working on that. Ideally, what I'd like to be able to do is... Uh, oh, no! Bobby is dead. General Bobby Fender has died just before he was about to go to battle. It means we've got to get a new general. Okay, so let's push the button. We need to name our general. We don't know how good our new general is going to be. Um, who is next on the list? It is going to be Monty. So that's a good name for a general. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Gives us another professionalism. And you are a 115. So basically, you're really good at running, not so good at fighting. But sometimes a bit of maneuver can make the difference. Not as good as Lucas. Lucas is good at running and fighting. But I think I think Lucas likes to run into a fight as opposed to run away from a fight. Um, and look at that. Plus, that is fantastic. It's got six maneuver, which is the most you can have, and an extra 10% movement speed. This guy sprints into battle. Excellent. Um, Disloyal Estates, which is the um, the uh, Emirs, which is understandable, really, because we basically took everything off them. Um, we could do something to try and get that up a little bit, but it's always risky that they might gain a little bit more influence than you want, so I'm not going to mess around with them. I'm, I'm just going to try and let the um, the money go up, really. Uh, all of a sudden, why why are we not making as much money? Oh, yeah, we hired the guy. I, rem I remember. I remember what happened. We hired a guy, and stuff happened. So let's go ahead and put Monty in charge of this army. Uh, we've got a rebellion that might pop. Um, which are those guys up, up the top again? Uh, you're not drilling, are you? You are literally... You are just waiting for this to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and just move you over there. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then when we come back on the next video, we'll probably go ahead and do this war. We will need to move some guys in... Well, we'll need to move both of these armies into position. You can go there ready to jump on these guys. You can move down into there. Um, military, we are... 32 professionalism is not bad. But uh, we've got a long way to go to hit that 100%. But anyway, we are over the 20-minute mark, so I am going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying EU4 as the Mamluks. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.